spiritual home dogs this is tarot with kittens weights and tarot bringing you yet wait for it another deck review <laughs> and this is of the light gray tarot so the light gray tarot um is a collection of the work of 78 artists so each card has a different totally different energy you know than the card before it um, because it is coming from a different artist and their interpretation of the tarot um, so just a, you know, regular little, you know, plasticky box, although it's a little bit tougher cardboard than some, you know, little boxes. Um, but this comes from the Light Gray Art Lab. Um, and what I like about them is they're actually an art gallery. Um, I forget what state they're in. Um, but they're not like a, a tarot gallery. Like they just happen to make, um, a set of oracle cards and a set of tarot cards using the art of the artists that they are that are represented in their gallery okay so let's give her an open up okay and there's a little black booklet that comes with this just a little guidebook um it's nothing too fancy I mean, it does tell you a little bit about the deck and how they came upon it or upon making this, kind of who was involved, which is always nice to look up. And it gives you kind of some of the, the general meanings of the cards, but kind of based off of the artist's interpretation. So, you know, if you get this, I would definitely take a gander. Um, it has some spreads for you guys. Some of them are just here your average spreads and then here it has a list of all 78 artists and their sources for um, where they got their information on their tarot okay so let's look at the cards so here's your card back um, so interesting little card back and I'm pretty sure you could reverse this yeah um, Pretty decent cardstock. I mean, I like it. It's not too thin, not too thick. Just right, as get Goldilocks would say. Okay. And since they are, you know, um, have that gloss to them, they shuffle really smoothly. Just listen to that glide. Okay, so let's take a look at these cards. So. Um, some of them, it may not be evident right away of what the, the card may be. I mean, it has a six, but it doesn't say six of what. Um, and in this particular card, it is, I believe, the six of pentacles. So you may need to do a little, little looking up first about what this is. Um, but some of them... Like for, at least for the court cards, it will say what it is. I just love the art on all of these cards. And for me, I don't need continuity of like the exact same artist for all of the cards. I like that each of them has a different interpretation, different energy. And then I could put that together in my reading. It would be, I guess, as if you were mixing oracle and tarot cards together, except this is all tarot. I don't know if that makes sense. And some of these you can figure out, like this is the Five of Pentacles. Some of them are a little harder to figure out. But if you work with it, you know, you, you'll be fine. The majors also have their titles here, like for Temperance. Oh, I love the Nine of Cups. I just love seeing how other people view tarot. You know, maybe they're not like tarot people, I would say, but you know, just giving a task to an artist saying, you know, here, here are some keywords, here's some background info draw, whatever comes to mind, whatever inspiration hits you.
you like that the mask is is backwards death oh they're so beautiful I think this and the pagan other other worlds is like tied for some of my favorite decks right now I think the art both of them is just gorgeous that one's kind of uh, interesting I believe that's two women which is nice to see talking so much it's just wow I just love to take in the art I'm like ah I'm over here in like happy land showing you guys all these cards and plus I love supporting artists so I'm all about that which is probably why I get so many indie decks and not too many mass-produced decks okay so there you guys have it that is the light gray tarot let me know if you guys have any questions on this. I also bought their Oracle deck and I'll be doing a review on that as well. If you have this deck and you like working with it, uh, let me know all about it in the comment section below. If you would like me to use this particular deck in a reading, um, then make sure you let me know before you get that booked, but definitely get that booked. And um, the information for that is down below as well. Uh, you know, information to my website, my Etsy page, and all that jazz. Okay, so I guess I'll be heading off. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Bing! And don't forget to click subscribe, and I will catch y'all later. Peace out!